Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn daily love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get our whispers of healing and we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with, what you may need to look at, and possible future energies coming in for you. This could be the relationship that you have with yourself or friends, family, partnerships. Then we're going to get our Alice in Wonderland cards and get some clarifiers. All right, so I feel like this one, what are you struggling with sensitivity? Sensitivity. Are you overly sensitive about things? Or do you need to be more sensitive about things? All right, what you need to look at. We have growth. I feel like this one too. Control. Future energies. Give back. All right. So what you may possibly be struggling with is sensitivity. Like I was saying before, is it, is it, are you overly sensitive? Are you um, being overly sensitive about something that, you know, with a partnership, a partner or a relationship like are you taking things too personally I know I I'm a Capricorn Sun and a Capricorn um, rising and definitely I am overly sensitive and sometimes that's a good thing but sometimes that's a bad thing what you need to look at is growth and control kind of controlling Maybe kind of realizing, hey, if I'm overly sensitive about something and, and kind of thinking about it and saying, you know, that person really didn't mean to say it that way or I shouldn't keep that in or I shouldn't have taken it that way, right? Kind of controlling things, emotions, feelings a little bit better or, or your perspective on, you know, on a situation that to where it's maybe we were blowing it out of proportion, but to kind of learn to kind of curtail that and to not be overly sensitive with it. And then giving back, I feel like giving back is communication. I feel like the giving back is communication and communi communicating better that maybe you are overly sensitive about something or this is what will help me, you know, to not be so sensitive or can you work with me on this, right, that communication. We have the lovers, which can represent Gemini, so I feel like it's a relationship that you're having trouble with, that overly sensitive. Sometimes when we're with partners, you know, sometimes when or we're with people and they're having a bad day and they take it out on the people that are closest to them and it's that partner, right? Or that person that, the, you know, that they can really trust and they can believe in. So they take it out on that person. And definitely if you have kids, you know, the kids will, you know, take it out on, on mom or dad and the ones that are closest on them. And it's like, well, you know, why are you taking this out on me? I didn't have anything to do with this. And so you take it out on the ones that you feel closest to. Um, we have two of swords. I feel like it's kind of looking at that sensitivity to yourself is what direction do I want to go and do I want to keep feeling like this and, you know, do I, do I want to keep being in this energy or do I want to make some changes? Oh, look at that. Love that hangman. I need to, you know, having to look at things from a different perspective, you know, struggling with the hangman, which is like, I don't, you know, seeing things differently and seeing how it's affecting you sometimes when we're overly sensitive that we're keeping a lot of inside that we're you know becoming anxious we're in a lot of anxiety that we're stressing ourselves out and is this really good for yourself right are you really helping yourself um, I'm not saying don't be sensitive but sometimes we can react too much to a situation or a person um, and it can affect us in a negative way all right the hermit what you need to look at the hermit so he's going out on a adventure or he's looking he's going on a trip by himself and I feel like that goes with growth right looking within to find those answers as why are, why are you overly sensitive to a situation why is it affecting you in that way why do you feel like are you feeling really hurt are you feeling really sad? Um, are you feeling by yourself? Are you feeling lonely? If you are feeling that way, why are you feeling like that? What is that that stirred that within you, looking within to say, why am I feeling that way, right? 
what makes me feel that way and what are those things that I need in order to change that five of wands kind of <laughs> it's kind of funny like they're all kind of battling each other there right they're all kind of all over the place but I feel like it's kind of bringing it to the forefront right controlling it this is out of control but then we have control here right controlling maybe it's just all of those thoughts and those emotions or feelings you're all over the place and it's like okay I got to get more control of this I've got to kind of bring it in I got to rein it in I got to slow it down right queen of pentacles she's somebody who's kind of slow and she's steady and she's grounded right getting back to that energy um, I feel like that's what it is slowing things down future energies we have the four of wands and that's that connection that partnership that's calming that's happy that makes you feel good right um, communicating giving back giving back to yourself right taking that time to yourself if that's what you need to do to find those answers within or it could be giving back to your partner we have the three of pentacles working on things working on a relationship working on things feeling more balanced six of pentacles which is excuse me sharing and I feel like it's communication again communicating Sometimes if we feel a certain way, but we don't express that to that other person, they have no idea how much their words or their actions are affecting us if we keep it to ourselves. And we need to communicate to them to let them know. Not attack them, not blame them, but to say, your words are making me feel this way. And your actions are making me feel this way. And that you need to communicate that because if you don't, then they're not going to understand it and they're going to keep doing it right star aquarius hope direction guidance um faith belief um believing in yourself finding that direction looking out for yourself communicating explaining things not feeling bad for the way that you feel because the person that you are telling this to should understand that even if they say i didn't mean it to be that way but and but if they try and make you feel guilty that you say well this is how it was making me feel and for them to accept that and for them to say okay I'm sorry that I made you feel this way and that I will try differently but thank you so much for letting me know that my actions were making you feel that way and that's what's so important about communication right because you can't assume just because someone is your partner or your friend or your family member that they're supposed to know how you're feeling that communication is the best right knight of wands those actions what are those actions that you can do to have that communication to get past the situation that if you're 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 questioning things right chariot you're in control you're in control of how this goes cancer sign you're in control of how this goes. you're driving the ship you're driving the boat if you're not saying anything or you're not doing anything then you're keeping yourself in that energy but if you want things to change that you're in control so what are those things that you can do right control um, what are those things that you can do to change things up we have the hierophant which is Taurus having that faith and belief in yourself it's also about having that person that you feel you can trust and that you can rely on that will give you really good advice right that will give you that direction and that guidance looking towards the future and then we have the fool which is on the sale so I feel like it's that new beginnings and those new starts where do you see this going it's almost like he's taking he's walking towards this future right this direction that he wants looking within to find those answers and figuring out where you want to go and what you want to have happen I love it the emperor is powerful and he's strong and he's confident and he knows what he wants and he knows where he wants to go and he knows how he wants to feel and how he wants to handle situation and how you want relationships to go and and that you want to be respected right that you're not going to accept relationships that don't make you feel confident and strong sometimes we have those relationships where we're growing and we're changing and our needs are different and we're feeling more stronger and confident that we don't want to be in those old relationships where that we feel are toxic or that are hurtful to us right letting go ten of swords tens are completion so letting go of those things that are holding us back definitely look at that holding us back eight of swords holding yourself back but the sun is ready to burst through so you're feeling ready to make those changes but I feel like in order for you to feel ready first is that you have to do this hermit here and you have to look within and find out what is that future that you want to have what are your goals what are your dreams within this relationship 
sometimes we have to make tough decisions, right? Page of Swords is, is tough decisions and that before maybe you let those decisions go because you didn't want to have any conflict, but now you're ready to handle it because you know that you don't want to keep that, that energy, that negative energy within yourself. And you're like, I don't want to do that to myself anymore. And strength, Leo, powerful, right? Handling situations, confidence. Bottom of the deck, what are those things that you need to let go of, right? She's pouring out those three spilt cups. She's letting those cups go. She's letting those emotions go. And she's processing them. She's working through them. She's letting them go. But then she has two cups here, right? And focusing on the positive, focusing on the good, to make sure that we don't stay in this energy here, this sadness, this loneliness, um, feeling like we don't deserve things, that there are, are two cups right there and making sure that we're aware of those. And that goes with growth and control. And I feel like, again, giving back to yourself and communicating. All right, so let's grab an animal oracle close up sometimes we don't realize that these are that we're sometimes we don't realize that we are in control more than we think we are flamingo spirit embrace the in-between embracing the process right not rushing trying to get through things but embracing this lesson right embracing these this phase that you're going through these changes and embracing those and and that building of that strength and that power within yourself and embracing that and patting yourself on the back and being proud of yourself for those things all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i'll see you next time